All right, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. I'm so sorry, but I want to explain myself ahead of time that um, we enter the castle and um, I was not recording. So um, actually, I ended up starting where I would left off and then ended up dying and ended up back here. So I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. So we are back out at the outside of the castle, kind of where we started. So I didn't get very, very far from here. Um, but the idea is that um, we met a mage at the um, in the cellar. His name is Joan, and he was imprisoned. He was the one that poisoned the Arl, and so um, we spoke to him, and he is willing to try to help fix, rectify things. Um, and so now we are here in the courtyard, and we got some peeps standing over here. What I'm going to do is... Um, try to fight off as many of these as I possibly can and then open this gate because there are some soldiers standing out here but I don't want to lose them because uh, we got some guys up here too so this is a dangerous situation you know what that was... can I use this that was completely worthless Okay, let me go. As you say. I never like this part. Okay. Right. Next. Alistair, where's my... Okay. I'm always losing my uh, cursor. That was much easier than it was when I first did this, because that guy, whatever this thing is down here, was not going down. Let's see. He has nothing on him this time. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. It's this barrel. Okay, let me, um, see... Okay. Let's save this. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that I didn't save it and I ended up here because now you can see what the heck is going on. All right. And we're back. So these are our visitors. Mm -hmm. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor. Wow. I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma the shade. Oh, what's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Hmm. You've been protecting him this entire time. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. 
That voice. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him <laughs> what to do. Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? Hmm. I came here to help if I could. To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? To help the Arl, of course. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. The voice acting yeah! is so good. Where is my... There we go. Did we though? Oh no 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 no. Let's make this quick. I need a moment of rest. Brilliant. Brilliant. Tegan. Oh Tegan, are you all right? I am better now. I think my mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. You are Please. a fool. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm not about to kill a child. And yes, she did know about this all along. But I'm not about to kill a child either. Like I said, I, and I went on this, this little bit of a rant earlier but i'm gonna say it again here she is the full reason why this is all of this is happening it started with her the domino effect started with her yes joan did poison the arl um and he's in the dungeon in the basement and he did say that he was going to try to rectify everything like i said before but she is the main reason why all this happened because she tried to do things in secret to try to have connor instead of sending him to the circle like he should have been she instead decided to hire a tutor in Jowen. Now, I don't know how Tegan got involved, or not Tegan, I keep saying Tegan. I don't know how Logan got involved, how he knew to send Jowen, if maybe she went to Logan, who knows. But um, because of her secrecy, because of her sneakiness, um, Connor was able to dabble in magic that he did not understand. He's too young. He needs proper training. For one thing, I understand. She's a mother. She doesn't want to lose her child, right? Second, but, however, um, the second reason, maybe, I could be reading more into this, but I do know that Connor would not be able to hold the title of Arl. He would not be able to take over in his father's footsteps, and the legacy would be gone. I think someone else would have to take over. I'm not sure how that would work in this situation. They would maybe have to have another heir. Who knows? I don't know. She is, um, I would say my gray warden, Nat Natalia, is like 18 years old. So she's 36. She could still have a kid. She could still have a kid. Um, yeah, because she's half her age. So she would be 18 here um, as Connor. So, <laughs> so eloquently put. Um, okay. So 
Yes, I'm not about to kill a child. I do not know if we can save him. Demons do not listen to reason. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? Yeah. You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect yeah. him. Yeah. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Irresponsible. Absolutely. Um, what are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. I do not like the idea of hurting the boy, but... Connor is my nephew, but he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. Hmm. No? What... what about the mage? We, he could know something of this demon? If he still lives, we could speak to him. He's down in the dungeon, still alive. Then we should bring him here immediately. I... I do not know how much we can trust him. But we must find out what he knows. Tigan, could you find him? I... will try. Though if he resists, I will not hesitate to kill him. You won't. I'll return shortly. You're lucky to be alive, Jao. Here we go. After all you've done. I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isol. But I did poison the owl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. My magic is forbidden. It's not an option. There's, there's a way. Uh, I must know it. Oh, please, tell us what you mean, Jawan. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Hmm. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside mm -mm. him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? Give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do? I am uneasy. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Okay, the Circle Tower is not far from here, and they owe me. Indeed. It should not be difficult to get what is needed, provided we have the time. Yeah. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I will take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. 
Okay, let's save here. So we we have our our task. Um locked front door. I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna do some oh wait, you know what? Let's loot bodies because oh it shall be done. Yes. Oh, did we kill all we no one survived? Really? Okay, here we go. These guys come alive, so and this did not bode well. Use everything I got here. It's this guy. Yeah. It did not the first time we came in here. All right, let's go. Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. We got possessed people too? Okay, more enraged corpses. This poor guy, what's his name? Chamberlain? Vault key. Well, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Very well. Whose room is this? Small silver ring. This looks like something that Morgan would like. A rune. Master lockpicker. Yay. Well, I'm not exactly... Let's see. Let's go over here. Um, it's got the desk here. What's this book? The Orlesian Empire. We won't go over that, but desk. Alice's mother's amulet. A blank vellum. We're gonna take all of this. I want to give this to Alistair, but I think I want to wait until we get to camp to give him that. I feel like let's go up this way. I know we're supposed to be going back to the main shower, but I want to do some quick exploring. Oh, these are all gonna come alive. These are all gonna come alive. Just come on, just get over with. I'll take that. Uh, the Guerins of Felreldon, a gene genealogical. I don't know who would like that. I would maybe, maybe, maybe win? Not let them overwhelm us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I'm using my bombs. Too many of you guys. Never mind, nothing. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to touch you. All right, let's see. Here we have we have stuff over here. Stuff over here. As you say. It 
shall be done. So basically everybody in the castle is dead. It is begun. This is for Alistair. Stone dragon statuette. Definitely. As you say. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's a book. On the Tranquil. Kind of explained that before. Are we going to be able to unlock that? Yes. Okay. Where do we go? Okay, so we go out here. And I think we cleared everything here. Oh, we got this one door here. Or, no, this is where we came. Yeah. Let's back, back up. Sorry. Okay, so we need to go this way. Whoa. Use the key. What's in here? Lots of goodies. Crossbow. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh, Eamon Shield. Um I'll have to it shall see be if there's anything that Alistair or maybe Sten could use. Chevet Chev Chev uh Chevet? I can never say that. The fox's bow. Chance to avoid missile attacks. Hmm. Okay. Definitely want to see if Alistair or Sin can use any of this. And maybe maybe also Zevran. Zevran is the newest um, rogue. And I haven't really seen what he has on. So I should probably check to see what he's he's got. It's a strange looking... Is that the circle tower? What? That's weird. I don't I don't know if I should interact with Connor or you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna interact with Connor because I'm afraid that I might set something off and I don't want to do that. I've I think that's probably unwise. So let's go this way. Although I feel like no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go go to the mage tower. Um where were you guys? We needed you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to the mage tower. Maybe try to get some more supplies because there was a guy there um, that had some supplies. And um, yeah, so it's back to. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. Shoot. Ooh, it's a lot of them. Heal Alistair. When? At your order. Off I go. Yes. Now you fall. Down. Oh, he's a mage. I think. Oh, 
Of course you stepped her right into it. It's a lot of dark spawn. I do like, honestly, um, I used to hate being stopped in the road when I would go from, why is this not? As you say. Okay. When I would go from point A to point B, but it makes sense that while they're traveling, uh, they would get stopped by dark spawn and they would have the occasional scuffle. Um, and honestly, it's I good practice for them because... When all is said and done, they will be fighting a horde of them. And, you know, they would be trickling here and there throughout the um, the area. Let's see. Well, the leader didn't have much on him, did he? There's nothing here. Some more elf root. And that. Okay. Continue on. Oh, more elf root. I think I got everything. I need definitely need to make some more poultices. Um, and I need to find. Oh, <sighs> okay. Yeah, we saw that. Um, are you all right? For a moment there, I thought I was. Thought it was all over. Thought what was over? Everything. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Okay, I'll hold you to that. Yeah. Okay, so let me go back out. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, and take you get to the circle tower. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and while I can end it here, um, take a quick break. Well, not quick break. I need to get some things done, but I will be back. We're gonna finish this up, um, this quest line up, and then we will continue on with our journey. We arrived at the circle and uh, circle the circle the circle tower, and we're gonna speak to. First Enchanter Irving, but I was trying to see if I could see Cullen, but I suppose he's disappeared. Um, so let's talk to Irving. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Um, that's great. Let's see. Can the circle go to Redcliffe to save a possessed child? The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. Well, that was painless. All right, we're going to head back to... Redcliffe Castle, Redcliffe Castle. Try to say that three times fast. Redcliffe Castle, where? No, yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it. And we're stopped. And we're stopped. I wonder how long it actually Will takes. Will you stop eating? Will you stop eating? Listen, rush them, and spring your own ambush for a change. Leave and skillfully evade their clueless trap. Should I leave? Let's listen. Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. Um. Leave. Now let's listen. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? So, are they looking for me? Listen. Oi. Who's that? Oh, okay. It's too late. Damn you. 
those bands oh, 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 Sometimes. Oh, 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 back. Really <laughs> it shall be done. As you say. Oh, oh, very well. Oh, oh, as you say. Oh, 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 whoops. Grumpy bandit. over this way. Oh wait. This way? What was that? It is begun. May you preserve us. Um got more on the map here. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, can we sneak attack? Probably not. Oh, we got him. As he says, it is the game. yourself. Very good. It is done. I think we got everybody. So were they just random bandits that were waiting to ambush anyone or were they specifically there for there. us? Allow me. Enemy oh, there's more. I got this, Liliana. Uh, back it up. Oh. I could do that for you. I don't think I can do it. It failed. Yeah, I can't get it. All right, well, we'll just go around. It's a trap. There's another one. Allow me. This arm failed. Oh! Really? Really, when? Thank you. Just thank you. Get. get oh, my gosh. There's more traps. I can't disarm any of these. Allow me. Yeah. I could do that for you. Well, you try. G can you do better than me? Let's see. No, you can't. Okay, you can't. I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything, but if I can't do it, you can't. Um, because my uh, my lock picking is higher than yours. Just saying is all. I'm just saying. Lifestone. What is that for? There's traps everywhere. Yes. It's begun. Firebolt. I'll give that to Liliana. As you say. Got more chests. More bandits to loot. Very well. Did we get everything? I feel like fancy vase. You gotta say vase, because if it's fancy, it's a vase. There's another chest over there, and there's a bandit. And then I think I've gotten everyone. Yeah. Whoops. Not much, really. <laughs> oh, I almost did it myself. Okay. Is this chest even worth it? It better be. This is a long walk just for E. Something that's probably not even worth my time. But we're going to go loot it anyways because you guys know my motto. No loot left behind. None. As you say. Yeah. It'll sell. All right. Can we go back this way? Or can I... Do I need to... Yeah, return to path? Nope. It's... Well, how do I get out of here? Oh, my gosh. This, it's gotta be this way. Trap sugar, barricade. Yeah, this has gotta be it here. Okay. 
gather my party and we'll head to the castle and try to save Connor. Hopefully we can save Connor. Oh, you know what? I meant to do one thing. I wanted to bring, let me head to camp. I wanted to bring I more. Think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Okay, we're doing this now. Um, yeah, you had me worried. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. Um, this case of death is taking a while to kick in then. Let me explain fully. Okay. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. Wow. Um, this, that is an amazing story. The fade contains spirits, both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. Hmm. I am living on borrowed time. Then we will make the best of that time. Yes, that we will. Oh, that's sad. Okay, that was an unexpected conversation to be had, but I guess mm, that's this is what I need to do. I just wanted to pick up Morrigan because I want to use Morrigan in the fade. Not necessarily Wynn because Wynn really doesn't have... She's just a healer and if anything goes down, I need to have a mage that Indeed. is um, able to protect herself, defend herself. So we're going to grab Wynn. Yes. Actually, horse feathers, horse feathers and, and Alistair. Yes. Okay. Back to Red Cliff Castle. Okay, now we're good to go. Oh, Morgan, let me level you up really quick. Oh, gosh. She is struggling. Constitution. More constitution. More willpower. And I think I want to... Did we... Did, let's level up her healing or her potions making. So she's got a couple things that I could... You know what? I think I'm going to give her a healing spell. And what is this? The caster channels in regenerative energy to selected ally, granting them a short term base boost of mana or stam. Okay. Um, we're going to go into her entropy death magic while active. The caner draw the caner, the caster draws in nearby entropic energy. Draining residual life force from any dead enemy nearby. This sounds very necromancy-ish like stuff. Weakness. Do we want to do force field? Walking bomb. Mana, mana drain. Wow. Yeah. Mana drain. Spell shield. Let's go with shock. 
or flame. Let's give her fire. She's got ice. She's got lightning. Let's give her all the elements, shall we, Liliana? You know what? We're not even worried about you right now. I'm not even worried. Not that you don't matter. It's just that you don't matter right now because the, the main star of the show at this very moment will be Morrigan. Yes. We're back. I see we've got mages. Irving? Ah, uh, there you are. We have brought Lyrium. Okay. And begun preparations for the ritual. That's good. We can start any time. I'm ready. Um, so only one person can go through, right? Yes. We haven't sufficient Lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fae. Okay. Um... Are you sure this is the only way? It only works because the child gave himself to the demon willingly. If the demon takes over the host forcibly, we must slay the abomination. We have only enough lyrium for one attempt. I hope you succeed. Such a young lad deserves better than execution. Do you have any last minute advice? It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire. One of the more powerful in the hierarchy. Oh, great. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Well, let's do this. I'm glad we decided to take this route. Me too. This is really the best option. It is. Very well. Who will go into the fade? I, you know what? I didn't know I could take Jowen. Do I want to take Jowen? No, let's take Morgan. Then let us begin forthwith. I could have went. Wait a minute. I could have went. I thought only a mage, a mage, a mage could do it. I can't talk today. What is, what, what? All right. Um, let me make sure I have all my ducks in a row here because I don't want to leave her um, stranded here. Mm. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, this is what she has equipped. All right, cool. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you. I'm coming. Is anyone out there? Hello? Father, where are you? These are manifestations of Connor and the Arl. I don't understand. Oh, this is him. You there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Um, try to get through to the Arl, sure. This is the fade. Your kind cannot navigate it any more than you could navigate a dream. I don't understand. Where is my Connor? I will find him for you since I foolishly gave my word that I would. Leave me to it. No. No, you're trying to lead me astray. I do not believe you. Connor! Connor, where are you? Okay. Curse this blasted darkness! Why can I see nothing? He can't see any of this? That's interesting. So the fade would be different, I guess, for someone that it was not a mage? Maybe? And Morgan being a mage, she would have more experience in the fade because oh, there we are, Connor. Hello. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. Be nice. I think that would be completely against Morgan's personality, but I'm gonna go ahead and be nice. Shoo! Run along and play. Or whatever. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. Okay. Oh, we're bugging. I shall do it. Ooh. 
That was entirely too easy. Or I'm trying to see what exactly I have going on here. So let's put the healing spell here. Let's put this here. I've got way too much. No, 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 no. These are her enchants, right? Sure. Let's make her a frost weapon. Where are we going now? This way? Back? Back this way? Can't go that way. Back this way. Back this way. Talk this way. Wait. No, this is where we came. Okay. Nope. You! You're okay. the one making father sick. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Hello, Connor. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Try to communicate. Enough of these games. Give me what I want. Trespasser! I will drive you out! We're doing this again? Okay. You lost me and you shall pay. I wonder if Why are she... you running? Embrace me! Maybe not. Oh, are we? What? Okay, I couldn't cast a dang thing. Get out of here! You have to get out! I'll stop you! I will! I'd like to see you try! Yes. Okay. The fate is so weird. It's so weird! Hello, Connor. Father Wonders, seeking me. Trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Reason with this entity or attack? Let's reason. Why do you speak through illusions? Come, let us converse. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist or things will go very badly for you. This again? Times am I? Need to go through these portals. Oh, what? Is she glitched? She looks glitched. Very well. Oh, hello. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You I've seen you before. And stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. Ma'am. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? No, we are not conversing. For us, the final confrontation. Do you take me for a fool? I know better than to bargain with your kind. Alas, that is sad. Very well then, if you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. I don't know. Uh, Morgan's pretty. Morgan. Okay. I see. Oh. You know what? Oh, she knocked me down. Okay. There's none of that. There's going to be none of that. Okay. Uh, which one's the real one? Is this one it? Begin the onslaught. Ah! It's her. How did I know? <laughs> well, obviously she had the thing around her. Yeah, this would be her. Another battle, I see. I do not deserve this punishment. Oh, this should be good. Oh, I'm out of mana. <laughs> And she's down. 
Ding dong, the demon's dead. Oh, happy ending indeed. And we are mourning. Oh, yeah. Look at the children. Oh, gosh. Wow. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Mm. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. Mm. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Um... I don't think it's your decision to make. Why do you want my opinion? I mean, obviously they would want your opinion because you helped. I don't like any of these. Do whatever you want with him. I, I don't like that either. Why do you want my opinion? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do even. Would you find him useful? I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Okay, um, I don't think it's your decision to make then. What do you mean? He is responsible for many of the problems here and is a Malefica as well. Exactly, he is the Circle of Magi's. Oh, that is true, yes. He is a Circle of Magi's responsibility. This should be a matter for the king? No. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. That's fine. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Um, is there... No, maybe not magic. We've had enough of magic. I will seek out this urn. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. But perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Okay, new quest. Um, The Urn of Sacred Ashes, Medicines, and Magic have failed to cure... Arl Eamon, who slips closer to death each day, you have been told that the urn of sacred ashes containing the ashes of the Maker's prophet, Andraste, has legendary healing powers. Um, Lady Isolde sent her knights out in search of the urn, but so far they have returned empty-handed. If Arl Eamon is to have any hope of recovering, Andraste's ashes must be found. Locate the Chantry Scholar brother Genitivi in Denerum. He is the only man in Ferelden who is actively researching the urn and will have important knowledge to share with you. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to go with this party. Liliana, Morgan, Alistair, and you know, I feel like we might need a healer. So let's go back to camp. Um, but let us talk to Connor. You. You're the one who saved me. Actually, it was Morgan. Then, I guess I owe her thanks. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. 
I hope father gets better soon. He will. Won't he? Well, we're gonna try. Yeah, nice toys. Like wooden toys, right? So this is his room. Of course, for Reldon, they'd have Mabari hounds. Nice room. I bet you this place is really drafty, you know? Like, really, what? why are we saving? That's never good. You know what? Let's save, just in case. The game save, we're saving. Yep. That's that's how we're doing it. We've got, what is this? Allow me. Oh. Very well. I could do that for you. No, we have the key to the vault. Um... Where are we going? Is it this way? Yeah. To the main floor we go. And uh-uh. Y'all are back. Are you are you staying in your perspective places? Cause should we talk to Bantigan again? You return. Might you have news? Oh, no, uh no, nothing yet. Then I must resume my duties. The civil war continues, and Loghain is no doubt angered Redcliffe has not been disabled. Good luck, my lady. Thank you. You are a great and noble woman. I hope it continues to go well, for all our sakes. Yeah, like I said before, if I could... Maybe you didn't hear me. I don't think you did. I think that's when I was recording... Not recording. But if Ben Tekin was a romanceable character, I would have went for him. I would have went for him. I was a little disappointed when I found out you couldn't. Um, and so there is that, but I have decided, I think who I'm going to romance, um, out of, well, have I, have I, I kind of, I, I mean, yes and no, yes and no. Okay. All right. On that note, we're going to head back to camp and I think we're going to do a little chit chat before we head to our next, um, mission which is to find the urn of sacred ashes but we need to go to denarum um to look for a genitivi and speak to him um i would imagine if he knew where the the urn i don't know but so we'll talk to him and um then we've got like we've got a long way to go yet still i, I do want to clear out some of these little side quests here this one here this one here so all right until next time you guys thank you for joining me i hope you're enjoying dragon age origins ultimate edition and i hope to see you here again soon ciao